Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. I have a perfume haul today. I am very excited about this. Uh, it's not a gigantic haul in terms of some of the ones that I have done in the past, but I'm very excited about some of the fragrances that I picked up because I have been wanting some of these for a while. Before I show you what I got, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what perfumes you have been picking up lately, what your favorites from 2023 were. I don't know when this is actually going to go up because I still have a perfume haul that I filmed back a while ago and I haven't uploaded it yet because I haven't edited it because I've been, I've been all over the place. But uh, first up, I want to show you something not perfume, but I thought it would be kind of interesting. I picked this up at the Target dollar spot. It was $5. I thought it'd be a cute little perfume tray. So it says on the side, ice skating rink skate rivals, but I figured I could turn it around too and put bottles in here. And everybody has perfume trays and they always are fancy, but I was like, I saw this at Target and I was like, that would be a serviceable one. So we'll try it. I have like a shelf, so I don't know why I need, felt like I need a tray too, but I did. So a lot of these I picked up for major sales here and there, and that's why I have them. So first up, we have Dolce & Gabbana. This is Q. I picked this set up at Macy's. They were doing like 40% off, so you got the one ounce and then also the mini, and this was like 60 some dollars and then I still had um well not still but I had my 10 off of 40 for my Macy's beauty box so I did get an additional ten dollars off oh this is a 1.7 this is an even better deal so I did finally get Q I don't know if I love this scent I honestly don't know if I love this scent I know I'm supposed to spray it on this side but I'm going to spray it on the larger side because I want to so don't come at me also if you don't like my opinions that that's fine we all have different scent preferences. Things work differently on our skin. If somebody says something that you don't agree with, um, you don't think that they're doing your favorite fragrance justice, just move on. Like you don't need to write them a paragraph. You don't need to uh, berate them or call them names. Fragrance is subjective. It's not uh, something that everybody's going to like. And just because somebody disagrees with you, doesn't mean they're necessarily wrong. Doesn't mean that you're necessarily wrong or right. It's fragrance. It's not that serious. Uh, calm down. That That's just a PSA across the board because I've gotten some comments lately that I'm like, really? Okay. So this one is interesting. It's kind of a greeny type of a scent to me. It's very light. The cherry isn't as syrupy as I would like. It's not as prominent as I would like either. It's this almost is like light blue to me that they've thrown in some cherry into it, but it's not the most prominent. I'm getting a lot more like freshness and greenness in here, like almost like rind of some sort of citrus, but I love the bottle. I wanted this for the bottle and the bottle alone. Like I love that cap on there and, um, that is why when it went on sale, like 40% off the gift price, I was very, very excited. I was trying to see, sometimes they put prices on them, but this one, they obviously did not. But yes, was happy to get that for 50 something, much better than, you know, the 100 something. Next up is an Ulta gift set. This is the Daisy Ever So Fresh. This is also not my favorite set, but this finally went on sale. So they did the gift set of it. It was supposed to be 175. They marked it down. It went on sale before Christmas. I wanna say like the 15th maybe. And I saw that it went on sale and I went, oh, cool. I've been wanting to get this. This is the 4.5 two ounce bottle. So this is a gigantic bottle. I will never use all of this because like I said, this is not my favorite scent. Maybe this one will grow on me though. Who knows? Anyway, I wanted this because I have almost every other Marc Jacobs. I have all the other daisies, not like some of the limited edition uh, bottles that were just daisy, but with different packaging, but all of the ever so fresh, all of the oh so fresh, all of the love, all of the daisy dream, all of the, you know, the daisy blinkers every year. I have all those. So in the air, I smell this beautiful kind of floral um, and it's really sweet and nice. But then when I smell it up close, I get this kind of green, 
dirt kind of a note. And I don't know what that is, but there's something very off-putting. I'm going to wear it on my skin and see how it goes. But every time I smell it and I'm like, why would I want to put this on my skin? Because I that's when I sprayed it and it dissipated in front of me, I could smell this beautiful thing. But on paper, at least, I, I really don't like it. But this was about 112 I know that's still a lot for fragrance, and I'm like, yeah. Uh, but I really wanted it for my collection because I have all of the daisies. They're all um, on the shelf together. I have like the oh so freshes, and then the daisies, and then another shelf is the Daisy Loves and various other Marc Jacobs because I have a ton. So this was one that had been wanting to go in my collection. They also, I still had my 20% off coupon that Ulta had sent out, so I got 20% off, and then they were also doing five times points which they didn't credit me for. And I had to go and like, I noticed that it hadn't been credited. So then I had to email them and show them a screenshot of it, which luckily it, the offer was still going on or else I would have probably lost out on those points. But, um, yes, got this, which enabled me to get over my 2000 points so that I could use them for a, another perfume that just barely came out. I'm so excited about this one. You already saw it in the thumbnail. It is Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Pop. I have been collecting these since the first yearly one that they did uh, back, back in the day. Sunshine in 2012. Not the 2019 one, the 2012 one, which is one of my all-time favorite fragrances that I've been hoarding and I wish they would bring it back. Anyway, we have Daisy Love Pop. I don't know how I feel about the bottles. I don't necessarily love the opaque because it's such a departure from all of the ones that they've done in the past. Uh, I like being able to see how much I have left and this one makes it difficult. I might be able to, if you hold it up to the light, you might be able to see, but in the most, for the most part, I like to be able to see how much fragrance I have. This is super light, I think. This also like barely arrived got it this morning. I just picked up the box from outside before I came in uh, to film, came down here to film. It's pretty. It's a nice, sweet, light type of fragrance. Has a little bit of creaminess to it, but it's mostly a sweet. If you've tried the Daisy Love Oh So Sweet, I think that's the closest. Um, kind of that and something else that's just at the back of my head that I can't really notice. But this one, if you like the Daisy Loves, this is another winner. It definitely fits in with the Daisy Love category very well. I'm very excited to have it. Uh, I will be picking up the other two eventually, but I did get those one for free. So that's very exciting. Um, always good to get it free. I also picked up a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. So altogether it was $3 for the mini palette, the five pan mini. And that and then I got a free gift with purchase this is much this is a laptop case I was not expecting it to be a laptop case my laptop is way bigger than this though I um, oh that's cute look at the little zipper pull very cute uh, it's a neoprene on the outside it is lined with like a you know a cheap satin kind of in the middle and by satin I mean you know like polyester or I don't know. I don't know my fabrics all that well, but yeah, I was not expecting it to be like this. I was expecting it to be maybe about this big, uh, but that was the gift with purchase. It has, it definitely fits in with the color scheme beautifully. I want to show you a couple of samples really fast. Uh, these are from Sephora. First up is Dead Cool. This is the layering fragrance in Milk, and it's I think fuller than the one that I paid for which is very disappointing I still need to contact Sephora about that if you <sighs> I will get that done uh, we got a beach walk by Maison Margiela replica and a my way by Armani probably oh the my that's disappointing this has leaked out there's like a stain on the back and there's hardly any of it left <sighs> I kind of like beach walk but I don't really like salt on my skin. Like I don't enjoy that as a scent note. It just doesn't work well with my chemistry, but that's the one that I like the most of them. 
if that makes sense. I did redeem 100 points at Sephora for a sample. I wanted to try the Nest Lychee Rose or Lychee Rose. How I know it's pronounced differently in different parts of the world. So uh, I also love the little mini bottles. So I picked this one up. This is just a rollerball. Did I just put it on my nose? That was dumb. I did put this on the night that I got it and I wore it a little bit just on like the front of my wrist and it is pretty it does kind of remind me of Delina a little bit but not as deep and it doesn't have like those um woody tones that that's what comes out in Delina for me is the incense and the woodiness so it probably is more my speed but I don't know it's really it's pretty strong as in terms of a fragrance it might be a little too strong and sharp anyway I got those because I picked up black opium this is the over red I wanted to get this as soon as I saw that it came out and then what happened was I still have my 20% off coupon for Sephora I was waiting for payday which was the 22nd to put in an order for fragrance so I this one had come out by then or I ordered it on the 24th I, I waited till the last possible minute and I did wear this one day already I, I couldn't wait it's nice um, I there's a bit of fruitiness with it I don't like it as well as illicit green absolutely love illicit green it's not as fruity as illicit green or neon it's more subtle. It's more kind of the almondy, you know, like it's not like a tart cherry or a juicy cherry. It's more like a glacé cherry. So, or like a maraschino cherry. If you've had those, I'm getting more of that. Almost like if you took like the queen and cherries, if you had this as a kid, those are the chocolate covered cherries with like that cream, that sh sugar cream. It almost smells kind of like that. And I think that's the vanilla mixing in with it. I'm not getting a lot of the coffee. It was very light. It didn't seem to last super well on my skin. I feel like it's an okay flanker, but is it my favorite? No. Uh, still, I love, and I know these are not everybody's favorites, but Illicit Green, New Eight Blanche, uh, Intense, the one that's kind of blue. Those were ones that I enjoyed more than this one. Um, I don't not like this one, but it also was not like super exciting, if that makes sense. This one was, was a little cheaper though, because the one ounce was 95 for this one instead of 110, which the Lay Perfume was. So it's gone down a little bit and that could just be the intensity of it. But I was happy to see that it wasn't over 100 like the last flanker was. And then I also picked up this guy. This is from Floor. This is Mango Mood Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. This was 20% off too. It rang up 20% off and I was very excited. Uh, you could do only one order, but you could get multiple fragrances in that order. So these are the two that I ordered. The lid doesn't stay on very, well, I guess it stays on pretty well, but it comes off really easily. So it seemed like I was afraid that it was going to fall off. We're, I just untaped this. We're going to smell it for the first time together. Ooh, that's a fine mist. Ooh. This smells really nice. It kind of reminds me of being in a Lush store, to be honest. Like, there's a sweetness that, like, when you walk into Lush, there, there's, like, a citrusy kind of sweetness. And I almost get, like, a citrusy this but it smells like mango if that makes sense it's pretty light so I think this is one that you're gonna have to spray a lot but mm, I really like this one so I'm excited to wear this and to try this I don't think I'll probably be wearing this so much in the cold weather right now but mm, as it warms up I can see myself wearing that one a lot I just wish it wasn't $35 yeah, a lot. Uh, I bought this set and I was dumb and I already owned this set. I bought it in the last sale. So I don't know why from the October sale to the December sale, I forgot that I owned it. It is the net discovery set. So I might return this in store. Um, you have Rose Parade, La Forêt, Coco Floor, The Vigny, and Opening Night. Yeah, that was dumb. And then I got this set because 
I figured that there was at least two that I was interested in here. There's a few that I knew that I would not be interested in. So what you get with this set are samples and then you can redeem for a full size bottle. It's 85. I really wanted the bag. Like the bag looked really nice. It's kind of gold, like slightly darker gold, if that makes sense. And um, it just seemed nice. You do get a card in here that talks about all of the fragrances and then you can write your thoughts. So the ones you get to try in here under floral, they have Kayali Eden Sparkling Light G39, Tom Ford Black Orchid. I knew for sure that was one I did not want. Donna Valentino, or Va Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I already have that, knew I didn't want that one. Um, Kayali was one of the ones that I was like, well, it is a few dollars more than this set, so that's one possibility. Then they had uh, Earthy and Woody Boy Smells Woodphoria. I was like, mm, I don't, I don't really know. That one was okay. I will t wear the sample, but I don't think it's one that I would necessarily, I, I wouldn't want in my collection. Um, then they had Warm and Spicy, which was Glossier U, which seemed kind of an odd. I wouldn't call it Warm and Spicy, but. Mm. And then Net the Vani, and um, that was the other one that I was like, okay. I'll either get Vini or I will get Eden sp Sparkling Lychee. I, I wasn't really into Glossier U. Like, that would be okay, I guess. Um, so you do get the samples. I did not use this one or this one because I knew those were not scents that I would enjoy. Then I did wear uh, this Vini. This is a nice size sample, actually. Uh, this is a three mil, so you, it's actually a larger sample than usual. The notes on this one are salt accord, cardamom, turmeric, green tea, narcisse, absolute, magnolia flower, oris, and vanille, or vanilla. This was way too much. I didn't like the saltiness of it. That, that, if I had seen that salt was the top note, I would have known it was not for me. So unfortunately, that one did not work out. Glossier, um, well, that's the wood for you. This one, I don't know, we'll give it a go. Uh, same with Glossy U, not necessarily something that I was repulsed by, but not necessarily something I enjoyed also. And then um, this one was pretty strong. This is Kayali uh, Lychee. I did not use an entire sample of it just because it felt like pretty strong. It did fade, you know, after a few hours. So it is one that I probably would want to top up, but this is the one I'm going to redeem for. Unfortunately, it seems to be sold out online currently as of filming this and then also most of the stores around me didn't have it in stock either so uh i will be redeeming it eventually uh mix bar i picked this up at target this is the oda parfum set from mix bar it is vanilla bourbon whipped almond and coconut palm i think they're just dabbers all right so whipped almond i got this set it was 19 dollars, and i was i think i needed like 15 dollars. i was trying to do the buy $40 worth of stuff, get a $10 gift card because I I was already at like 25 something, $26. And I was like, eh, I'm, I'm close with the essential things that I needed. So whipped almond, um, kind of hard to smell these without like dumping them on my skin. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to actually try to, to wear these instead of giving you a opinion of them like blind right now but I did get those I thought they were so cute I do love minis I also wanted the finery set but the finery set was eight dollars more and I was like oh, we're gonna stay stick close to that uh, 20 that $15 so this one was much closer all right I did pick up a couple more fragrances when I was at TJ Maxx the other day was not expecting I went in for uh, some ashwagandha gummies because I'm feeling stressed out and I need I find that they have been helping me. Anyway, uh, I found a few that I was on the fence about and my mom was like, oh, we have to get them. So first up is Disney Princess. This is Mulan. I have several of these. This was $9.99, so not an expensive fragrance. These are more just for fun to have on the shelf because they're kind of cute, you know. Oh, it has Musu on it. Oh, so cute. And the Cricut, I can't remember the Cricut's name. Uh, so we'll give it a spray. Some of these are, you know, kind of a nice, like, body mist type of a scent. Oh, this one's interesting. What is that? And most of these are very hard to find notes on. These are from Airval International out of Spain. It's, 
a sweet scent. It has like a little creaminess, but it's a a distinct fruit that I can't place. It's nice. It's a nice light kind of a scent. Um, I don't want to say Bath and Body Works like because I know people say that disparagingly, but I feel like it has kind of that vibe of like some of the kids line that they used to have at Bath and Body Works. So I like that one. That one was a good one. This next one I was surprised to find. Um, this is Born Dreamer by Charlie D'Amelio. Um, do I follow? No. Uh, only thing I know is this perfume and I think she was on Dancing with the Stars. Um, there's more than one of like they're twins, right? I don't know. Were they sisters? I, this was $16.95. Uh, nine anyway this is the 50 ml so the 1.7 ounce which i think it retails for 48 at alta so i was like oh i smelled this and it was smelled nice and i thought well for 16.99 i'm gonna get it. it's a cute bottle with a little star on it yeah this kind of reminds me of like an ariana grande fragrance it's not maybe like somewhere in between mod like if you mix Mod Berry and Mod Vanilla together and then you crossed it with Thank You Next 2.0, it's somewhere in that range. So it's nice. Um, I do see myself using this one a lot. I'm gonna uh, pack this one up because I'm trying to pack up my perfumes for uh, the new year, what I'm gonna wear. And I think this one would be a good layer on. I think I would like layering with it. The last fragrance I'm not going to open because I already have a bottle of this. Um, this is Santorini Sunset by Escada. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's a really good price. It was $13 on sale on clearance. And my mom was like, oh, I'm going to get it for you. And I was like, I already have it. I, But she ended up putting it in the cart and buying it anyway. So I'm going to take this and really work on finishing. Because I think the other one I have is a one ounce too. And it was a nice scent. Uh, you know, an Escada, very light fruity, um, not the most long lasting, but just a really refreshing kind of a scent. So I got that one as well and we'll be probably using these a lot in the coming months. That is it for my new fragrances. I got a couple, you know, pro pretty new, exciting ones. Let me know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on them. Fragrances you are looking forward to trying or buying in 2024, let me know down below. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to talk to you next time.